Sarah here from Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am doing a succulent inspired soap today with the fresh greens and earthy feel to it for spring. So I'm just gonna mix together the sodium lactate, lye, distilled water, and a little bit of titanium dioxide into my oils. That also has a little bit of coconut milk and kale and clay in there. We're just gonna give that a whirl. I'm gonna split this up into just two different colors. So let's get started. Okay, so the first color I have here, I'm just gonna do a very thin layer of like a dirt or ground color. So I've got this elemental earth, an earth colored. So I'm gonna pour off some of that into here. Just for a little bottom layer. Looks good. And then into this guy, I've got some jaded green from Soapbox Micas. Put some of that in there. And then I'm gonna give that brown one a mix first and start pouring that before I go in and add this green color. The fragrance I chose for this, I have some aloe water and cactus fragrance oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And inside of the soap, I've got these chunks of different colored soaps. I think there's blue, purple, and yellow, and I've covered them all in gold. And they're also going to go in inside of the soap. And then on top of the soap, I have these cute little succulent plants that I made out of melt and pour. So let's give this brown guy a whirl, add the fragrance, and then we'll start pouring. I'm just gonna pour in this first layer in here. I'll let this sit until it's firm and set up enough to start pouring on that green and adding those little chunky soap pieces. This fragrance on the website did say it accelerates and it is doing exactly so. It said slightly accelerates, but it looks pretty thick and almost like it wants to rice on me. So I think for that green part, I'm just gonna mix that fragrance in and not stick blend it. So let's let this sit and I'll bring you back for the green. All right, so I do not want this to be a straight layer. So I'm just gonna take my little spoon here and create just some texture in that layer. Don't want it even. And then you might also hear the neighbor's dog bark a lot in this video. Nothing I can do about that. Um, it's becoming a little difficult to find times to film when the dog is not barking. But it is what it is. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything I could say to my neighbor that I don't want to come off rude on. Um, that his dog barks a lot. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give this green a little mix and stir with that fragrance and then I'm going to go ahead and start pouring on top of that. All right, wish me luck. I'm stirring this in. It's like as soon as it hits, it just starts to thicken up. It smells really good though. And again, I find that with fresh smelling scents like waters and florals, they do accelerate and rise up on me. But I'm determined to make this work. And so I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of that. Grab some of these and start throwing them in here. Oops. I'm working fast because I really want to get this into the mold. So that succulent mold I ordered probably back in January and it did take a while to get here because I 
it was from another country. I want to say like the Ukraine or the Czech Republic or something along those lines. So it took a little bit of time to get here. And in the meanwhile, it seems like Brambleberry has come out with a collection of greenery, greenhouse, um, succulent inspired fragrances. And I just thought that was just so neat because that's what I had in mind to make. I feel like last time I came out with a couple different kinds of soap ideas that's like they were also on that same page. So that is really neat. I might have to try that collection. Maybe it behaves a little bit better than this guy. But this one does smell really good. It's also like, it reminds me of a cucumber melon sort of, or like a honeydew melon. It's very fresh and a little sweet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these little pieces in here. And then I will pour in the rest of that batter. And then I'll get the icing together. The icing, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a new leaf green from Nurture, and then I have some jojoba beads that I'm gonna put in there too. Just kind of push some of these down. Make sure they're evenly and everywhere. I'll scrape this out and get this covered and then get that icing together. Making a mess, but what is new? <laughs> All right, let me get this cleaned up. I want to show you a little bit of the inspiration for the soap. This is something my friend Maria made for me. It's like a little terrarium. It's got some gravel and like an air plant in there and some moss and a little gnome and mushroom. And I just love those colors and that earthy look. So I thought making like a little terrarium looking soap after this would be adorable. So I'm going to start putting the icing on here now. And it is that new leaf green. It has a little bit of a yellow, more of a yellow and a little bit of a green undertone for it. And then I've put a bunch of green jojoba beads in there just because I thought that would look really neat. Lots of green shades going on here, very fresh. Would I ever use that fragrance again? Probably not in cold process. That was not fun. Um, lotions or bath bombs maybe, but not cold process soap. That did not behave at all. The, f the website said it would slightly accelerate and I, just, I mean it didn't turn into soap on a stick, but it wasn't fun either. I am so excited for spring guys. This is just, I love these colors. I'm so ready for green things. It'll be closer to spring for you guys when you watch this than it is from me making this. We actually had a really big snow day yesterday. All right, let me get my icing bag refilled and remember to hit the record button. We had a really big snow day yesterday, probably about six inches. Still a lot from what we've gotten so far. It is beginning to melt already supposed to be 60 degrees on Sunday and then go back down into the 40s so I have no idea what Mother Nature is planning right now. I did enjoy the snow day though. Bradley got to work from home and that's always nice. Um, daffodils are starting to sprout up in between the snow. Mounds out there. It is really muddy in my backyard right now. I'm just so looking forward to warmer weather. Speaking of <laughs> snow, since it's February, it, it was Valentine's Day, I think, last week as I'm making this video. And we just sat around eating candy. 
my Universal uh, Yums box came. So that was a lot of fun. And it's always great to have for a snow day. I made sure Brad went out to go get it from the mailman so that I could eat it. <laughs> and I'm still just snacking on it, picking one thing out per day. But for Valentine's Day, Bradley surprised me with some Florence and, Mich and the Machine tickets. One of my favorite bands, and I have seen her before. So this will be my second time seeing her. Bradley said he went and got the expensive tickets. So how did I run out of icing on that? Like, I thought I got better at this. I guess not. I either have like too much or not enough, but I really thought I had it down that time. That's not bad. All right, let's get those invents on there. So yeah, I saw Florence Machine once and Bradley surprised me with tickets to go see her again. So that is going to be in, I think it's June. So I got a while. I got him some stuffed brew beer because that is what he does. He likes brewing beer and cider and making um, kombucha right now. So I got him like a little kit to make a different flavor of beer and I got him a few sweaters from Target. That was my elbow because he has this one sweater that he got for Christmas that if I let him wear it every day he would. So I went out to go get him another one because you know if you like something that much you find a shirt that you like you have to go out and buy two of them. I gotta say he did a better job at Valentine's Day than I did for him but don't think he got that idea by himself because I saw an ad for it on Facebook and so I screenshotted it and sent it to him and he thought, hey, I don't want the same color there. And he thought he was being um, clever and going to surprise me, but I knew what he was going to do. I knew he was going to buy those tickets. I know him too well. All right. And get the last one of these guys on here. These are so cute. It took forever for this. Where do I want to put this one? Well, I guess I'm just going to have one on each side. That's fine. It took forever for this mold to get here and it had different shapes in it, but they were all just a little too tiny. These I thought were perfectly sized. I don't think I have the patience or maybe even the talent. I see a lot of people piping their little succulents or agave plants like um, Soy and Shea. She did an amazing succulent agave looking. Am I missing something here? <laughs> I am just winning at this one today. So I have to make one more of these. I am going to go ahead and put on the sea salt that I've dusted in the elemental earth as well to look like the gravel. Yay, Tierra. I don't know what I did there. So I'll go make another one of those. I will let this sit, give it a little spray maybe with the rubbing alcohol. I'm all over the place today. Maybe a little glitter, just a little sparkle on there make more of a mess with this sea salt mixture and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up and we'll come back and cut it in about 24 hours. All right so there's the up close of it and once I get down here you'll see I fixed my mistake. He's just a little bit of a different color but that's all right because I love all these different colors on here and that guy's just really special. So there is my succulent soap. It is so pretty. Okay, I am back the next day to cut this guy. I'm going to try to cut it um, upright. I don't want those salts to create any drag marks though. But we will see. I don't want to cut it on its side because I won't be able to see those embeds just in case I didn't line them up correctly. I don't want to cut into them. There's the inside of that. Are you guys surprised? <laughs> I'm loving it. 
I definitely want to make this soap again. I might try a different fragrance. Well, I, actually, I know I'm going to try a different fragrance. I might try the Brambleberry set they just came out with. I've got the plan for that. But this is such a cool soap. I have to give you guys an up-close look at all of those um, jojoba beads. You can even see them that are in there. Eh, there you go. That's what the inside looks like. <laughs> Let's keep cutting here. We'll do a couple more. So yeah, day after. And like I told you guys, it snowed and it got so sunny out and so warm out that the snow has just disappeared. You can't even tell. Not a single bit of white out there anywhere. It is all gone. It disappeared. It like came in within hours and it disappeared within hours. Welcome to Maryland. <laughs> nice to get like a nice snow in and then have it go straight to spring. I appreciate those kind of snow days. Hoping that was the last snow we get. We will see. I think I want to cut the end off of this guy. There we go. That way you get more of an inside look. I totally enjoyed making the soap. I think it is so pretty. Just look at the top of it. I didn't even show you guys the top of it. So we've got cute little succulents on there. That icing has the jojoba beads in it. We've got our layer of dirt <laughs> and then all our pretty greens to represent the succulents. So that is so nice. Thank you guys for watching me, listening to me ramble on here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. New to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that tap. Hit. I don't know why I want to say hit that tap. That <laughs> tap that notification bell or hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted to any future videos that I upload. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. I love chatting with you all. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day, and I'll smell you later. 